Hey y'all, I'm Rick Sky here and I want to do a quick review of the Sifley Smart Lock. And as you can see, it's locked right now. Installation, now watch my installation video and don't make the mistake that I made. It was a, you know, a self-inflicted challenge and I was able to get through it. But the build quality of this is great. It's, and we're going to go through it within this video. I'm going to show you what all it can do. But you can get it in a variety of different colors. I went with a gold color and you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find the various uh, options online. Now, I also added the Sifley Gateway, and if you choose to add that, you can also control it by way of your A-word device or your G-word device. And I'm not gonna say those words because it may wake some devices in your place, but you can use voice control. You could use the A-word or the G-word app to open the, uh, to lock and unlock the door. I'm going to demonstrate all the different ways. So it comes with these little Sifley keys. Unlock. Rub it in front of it, and it unlocks. You can also choose to store your fingerprint or multiple fingerprints. Operation My fingers are greasy. Well, it's, this, is, this is because my finger's wet. The system is locked. This is good for the demo. Let's see. So, I'm going to go into my app, my Sifley app. Unlock by way of remote gateway, got it. So now in the Sifley app. So that right there, that was unlocking with the Sifley app. I've got my fingerprint stored, and this works great. I've used my fingerprint several times. Let me just thoroughly wipe off my finger. See, that's all it was. My finger was wet and greasy. Been eating chicken wings. So, yeah, so that's, uh, that's another way. And now there's another way, and I'm about to pull it out of my pocket here. There's these physical keys. But keep in mind, there's not a keyhole exposed. So if you choose to use the physical key, and I don't know why you would, but if you do, you got to use that little hex key tool that comes with it and remove the doorknob. And this piece for the keyhole pushes from the out inside out. So you can't pry this off. You've got to pull the door. You've got to use the tool to release the doorknob, and then push push that out if you choose to open it with a key. I'm not going to use the keys. Now the other ways you can do it, you can go into the Sifley app and just push the unlock button, the well the phys, the virtual unlock icon, and you can see it unlocks it. So you know that's that's an easy way to do it. Within the app, you can do. Uh, you can, you can, you can uh, create passcodes. So if you push this, then you'll see a, a keypad and you can enter a numeric code and go in that way. And let me get my code, it's long, man. Let me see, let me, let me pull up my code here. I'm not gonna show you all my code, so I'm gonna put my back to it here. But I'm gonna type it in. Just type it in and then press the pound key, and boom, you're good to go. What I like about this through the app, and I'm running it on the iPhone app, anytime the door is open or closed, I get a notification within the app, so that's super convenient. Now, I've taken this a step further, and I went ahead and purchased the optional gateway, which was very affordable. You can find the gateway, expand this video's description, and then click the link there. You can find the gateway there, as well as this doorknob like I got in gold, and other color, color options as well. But with a gateway, you can then unlock remotely. Whereas without the gateway, you can use the app. You know, you're standing in front of the door, you can use the app. You can use these little uh, cards. You can use that if you wanted to, which I don't know why you would. You could pop that out and use the physical key. 
you know, you can do whatever you want to do. But unless you add the gateway, you can't control it with your digital assistants like the A word and the G word device. And that's what I like to do. I like to have, if you've got an A word or a G word that's close to your, uh, to your door and you can say, hey, A word or G word, unlock studio door, you know, then, or whatever your door is called, you can, uh, you can do that, which is nice. And also the A words and the G words, they have apps. So you could also use the A or G word app and you could, uh, you could unlock it in, within the app without using voice control. So there's a lot of functionality. From an audit trail perspective, it's nice having a log of all the people that come and go. And you know, I can create custom passcodes and assign a name. So if you've got a rental property and you want to uh, provide someone with a passcode and you want to know that that's them coming and going, you can create a name, name a passcode of that person or people. And when they enter the passcode, then in your audit trail, it's going to, uh, you know, it's going to show that that person unlocked the door. They entered the passcode and unlocked it. Likewise, with these little uh, cards, you could assign cards to people. You could assign, associate their name with the card. Uh, the same, you know, with the, uh, uh, the fingerprints, if you want to do the fingerprints. There's a lot of functionality out of this that this thing brings to the table. I mean, it's, it is, uh, as you can see there, using that fingerprint is really nice. Unless you're sweaty and greasy like I was earlier. So, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a cool piece of technology. It looks nice. It, feels, it has a good premium build quality to it. And, you know, I, I'm going to see how this goes for the long haul, but it's probably a situation where I'll probably put some on other doors also because it's just, you know, it's convenient. And again, having that audit trail is super nice. Now, I looked at a lot of the big, uh, you know, the brick and mortar stores online, and there's a lot of premium offerings in the smart lock arena. And, you know, looking at the reviews, this one overwhelmingly had the best reviews, actually reviews that were overwhelmingly more positive than some of the big name smart locks. So you're getting a well-made, smart lock that was easy to install check out my installation video i did make a few small fumbles so i'll acknowledge that but the installation came out great it feels great it looks great and it performs great so you uh and you can put multiple fingerprints in here see now i'm greasy again see it works i mean the fingerprint works in all sincerity i'll use my a word device whether it's a voice command or uh or the A word app, I'll use that to control it. And that's part of the reason that I was attracted to this smart lock uh, system because, you know, it's easy to, it's, you, can, you can control it without the A or G word device. You can control it with this app natively. You can use the little card reader. You can use a physical key if you needed to. You can use a passcode. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's feature rich. And you can also, if you had somebody that had the Scythely app, you could generate an e-key and send to their app. So they could pull out their phone, pull up their Scythely app, and they could use that to get in there. So there's a lot of ways to provide access. And if you're not sharing the access, then there's a lot of ways to have access for yourself and backup. Say, you know, I'm greasy and sweaty, and I, I can't use the, the fingerprint. I could always use the passcode. I could always use the, uh, you know, the little badge or card, whatever you want to call it. I could use this. I could use the Scythely app. I could use the A word app or G word app. If I use the G word, I use the A word app. That's my that's my preference. But there's just so many things you can do. It's a very versatile solution. Again, easy to install. If I install another one of these, it's not going to take long at all because now I feel like I'm an expert. And uh, yeah, it's just a it's a great device. So tell me what you think within the comment section below. And if you're shopping. For the Scythely uh, smart door lock like I use and or the gateway if you want to add your G word or A word device in with it, expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find it there. Now I got the gold color, I thought it looked cool, but there's other color options available as well. And again, you can find them all linked within this video's description. Thanks for your viewership and ask any questions that you may have 
and I'll try to respond to those questions within upcoming videos. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.